look for today. Um, just had an air conditioner taken out and they drilled a hole in the brickwork. So we're just going to take the two bricks out, put two new bricks in, so that you don't know where it's come out. What we did is we took out that air conditioner, we moved it around to here, so we can actually use the back area. So that's the job for today. Let's get to it. All right, so just for starters, this is a double brick um, building. So this outside wall is just purely um, cosmetic, so it's not holding up any structure. So we're just going to compromise these two bricks and take them out because they're the only two we need to take out. And then uh, we'll look at putting the other bricks back in. Okay, so I started with a grinder. Now I'm moving to the impact drill, um, and I'm using a 6mm, 6.5mm drill bit here. I'm just drilling lots of holes through the mortar. Um, I was lucky enough that this mortar was quite soft, so I got to move it a little bit from side to side. And because I've chased it, it kept it really nice and tight in that mortar, in the groove that I chased. Obviously, if you've got a deeper angle grinder or a brick cutter, you can just cut the bricks straight out. But I'm doing it as a home handy end, and I didn't have that. So what I do is I go along and I put in lots and lots of small holes next to each other, and then drill up and down at the angle. And all I'm doing really is compromising the uh, mortar and slowly working it out. Now, if this is lower in the wall, you can actually just smash the brick out but because there's only one course above if i was to smash those bricks i would probably break the top course as well so i'm trying to do as little damage as possible as i take the bricks out and you will see that as i go So here you see that uh, I've compromised the mortar and I'm just finishing it off with the brick chisel. Uh, I did have one of these in the car. I carry these all the time. It's just a flathead chisel. And you'll notice the hammer I'm hitting it with is a nice big solid um, metal hammer. It does help having a bit of a heavier hammer. So I'm just compromising that mortar again. I'll keep working on that brick. You'll see it'll wriggle. And then I've just got to pull it out. And to do that, I just use a crowbar. I tried to do it with my fingers, but uh, they get wedged in pretty tight, even though the mortar is compromised. So you'll see, and you see there, I just break the brick. There you go, there's the two. So when you're taking bricks out, start at the top and work your way down. But now we're just going to clear all of this stuff away. And I know what you're going to say, this isn't a wood chisel, but it's my cheap, crappy, do-everything chisel, so I'm just getting 
the little bits of mortar out of there. That's nice. And taken care of. Okay, so there he is. Cleaned him all out. Um, that's where the aircon went through. I'll put a bit of mud on there and then do it from the other side, but I won't deal with that today. So we're just going to put brick in there, brick in there. For that, I've got some old bricks that I just have to clean off. You can see they come at, came out of a wall. It was down by the side of the garage, so I'll clean all those off and just prep everything before it goes up. And then we're just going to mix some water. Okay, full disclosure, I actually couldn't form a brickage trail, so this is a pointing trail. So the reason I did this is because that'll set once I've done the bricks, and then it'll be easy to plaster from the other side, it won't all fall through into the cavity. And that's why I did that before I put the bricks in. It's more than just a little annoying, but we got there. By the way, this is not a business trail. This is um, something completely, this is actually pointing roof. Couldn't find my brickage trail and I wasn't really gonna buy a new one just for this. Just so you guys are aware. Myself a good bed. Now, whoever did this in the first place, this was originally built by an owner builder, so these aren't exactly um, level, these lines. Right. Get him in. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. As my mother in law would always say, blind man on the galloping horse wouldn't be able to tell. Mm -hmm. 
now you've got the bricks in you just can use a jointing tool and that is a plaster's a um plaster trowel uh, you can use your brick use uh, trowel it doesn't matter but you just put a bit of a uh, mortar on the top of it and we're just going to work it in that's basically what we're doing working it into any of the gaps that we haven't uh, got the contact with and we're pushing it in there we're getting it nice and, and uh, complete and then we're just going to keep working those those joints until we get them nice and neat it's not hard to do um, and you just keep using a little bit more mortar each time until you're happy with it once you're happy with it then you just start cleaning it off so I'll just let you watch that for a sec Okay, so now we're just going to clean off the bricks. That's just a wet towel uh, I had in the car, an old rag. And then after this, I actually go over it with a soft brush, uh, one that you would use in the kitchen just to clean things. And that just took all the mortar off while it's still wet. All right, there you have it. Not going to win Bricky of the Year, but it'll probably get me by. And it fills that hole. Um, for any other great brickworking suggestions, uh, yeah, Google other videos on YouTube. I'm sure Brickies will tell you how to do it a bit better. But that just gives you a basic idea. All right, there he is, guys. He's all done. Let's see if you can pick which ones were done. Um, and in all, all full disclosure, I'm not a Bricky, so this is showing you as a handyman. Um, now I know what you're saying. Look, my bricks aren't 100% straight, but this house was built by an owner builder. And I don't think there's a straight brick on the entire house. Just give you, give you a quick, quick idea. I don't know who built these, but I think they're all on drugs. Um, and you would have seen me stuffing that hole from the other side. You're probably wondering why. And that's because that's where the air conditioner is. So by putting it in the back, it gave me a backing. So now I could do that up the front. I'll clean that and I'll plaster that, make it smick. But um, so that's all it was really because they'd cord they drilled through the two bricks we had to take those two bricks out put in two more and that's how to fix it and patch it save you getting a bricky out um maybe save you a bit of money all right until i see you on the next video uh